Welcome back to the Making the Madness YouTube channel. It's Sean here again today, and I'll be discussing what it means for Memphis that Virginia Tech transfer Landers Nolly has received a waiver to play immediately for Penny Hardaway this season. And, you know, pretty big news there. A lot of people, I feel like, didn't think he'd get a waiver. I saw in the realm of possibility due to the fact that he had redshirted already. You've seen sometimes that players that redshirt, they don't want to wait, you know, it's only fair to get another season. And the NCAA has been super lenient with waivers this season, as they should be. I think every player should get a one-time uh, immediate eligibility once they decide to transfer. I think that's only fair, especially with the circumstances right now, and they're pretty much doing that. But for Memphis, obviously last season was a disappointment. But it, uh, when you have the number one recruit and he leaves a team after three games, it's going to cause issues. They were an NIT-level team last season. Precious Achua was asked to do a ton, and he's very good in his role, but he's gone now. And they returned just about everybody else from last year's team. Lester Quinones has a chance to be a star this season. Very talented guard. He struggled last season, but he was hurt early. Very good scorer, can handle the ball well. I like. He's a 6'5 guard, and I think he could even play the point a little bit if need be. Then the three-guard mix at the one. Between Alex Lomax, Damian Baugh, and Boogie Ellis, one of those three will separate themselves from the others. If I had to guess, it would probably be Ellis just due to the fact that how highly touted he was. Originally committed to Duke, then decommitted and committed to Memphis to add to their stacked recruiting class of last season. And another piece of that recruiting class, DJ Jeffries. Your prototypical NBA wing prospect, six foot seven, can shoot, can defend. He's a very good player and got hurt last season. Otherwise, he might have been in the NBA draft this season. So Penny Hardaway, you know, catches a break there, I guess, in returning him. And then you had Nolly to that mix. Last season, he took 14 shots a game and had 15 points a game, only shot 37% from the field. But that's part of why he transferred. He didn't want to play in that role. Mike Young had him doing too much. He said he wants to play more forward. He's not. He doesn't like playing guard. And that's perfect because he's six seven. He's not a guard, and Mike Young just used him in a role he wasn't ready to play, and that's fair. And now he'll get to be immediately eligible, playing for Penny Hardaway, take less shots. He has a nice jumper, only thirty one percent last year, but he shot the ball way too much, and that's not all on him. That's just how the offense was run. Then at the five, you have Musa Cisse, a transfer or a top ten recruit this year reclassified at the 2020 class from 2021. He's an elite defender, could be one of the best defenders in the country. He's, you know, scoring, he's limited because he isn't your pro, he's not your current day big where he can step out and knock down threes. That's not his game. He's going to be a great defender. I could kind of see him being a little bit of a less polished Yudoka Azabuki. And then you look at DeAndre Williams, a transfer from Evansville. He's likely to get a waiver also. He's your stretch four right there. He's a solid defender, really good shooter for a big man. There's a lot to like there. And then off the bench, you have Lance Thomas, you have Malcolm Dandridge, you have Isaiah Stokes, who are all bigs who can step in and play a role. They're not guys who can play 25 minutes a game, but they can play 10 to 15, grab a couple boards, and that's exactly what you want from them. But Penny Hardaway is really building something here. I could, I have the Tigers first in the American by a very large margin. And I could see them being a top 15 preseason team. I think, you know, I did my top, I'm finishing up my top 100 list soon. I think I had Memphis 19 or 20 before landing Nolly's waiver and assuming Williams gets one. I think I'd have them 13 probably now which is where I had Iowa previously, so move everybody back a spot, have Memphis there behind Richmond and Arizona State, I believe. So I think that's a pretty fair ranking right there. But overall, you know, when you have this kind of talent, I think Penny Hardaway is a good coach. There's just a lot to like there. Obviously, last season, disappointment, but it's hard when you lose James Wiseman to keep up with the expectations. DJ Jeffries was hurt. Lester Quinones was hurt. It was just a tough season. It wasn't ever going to be what it was supposed to be when Wiseman left. But this season, the Tigers are poised to do great things. Thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you check out the website, makingthemadness.com. Follow me on Twitter at Sean02MTM. 
And until next time, happy.